Alright, hello again. Happy New Year. It started as a complete disaster, didn't it? America is in deep trouble. Alexei Laiho is dead. You know, everyone was hoping for something good to come and it starts like this. Well, it's all shit, isn't it? Uh, the Corona thing is still going on, as everybody knows. I have no gigs for the next two months. I think I have one question mark gig in February. We'll see how it goes. Um, luckily I've written some new songs and stuff so uh, we will start rehearsing hopefully this week with Maza and Yari. If nothing else we'll rehearse the old songs because I've forgotten everything. Um, this song you're hearing today is called Checkered Flag back from my youthful days of playing somehow fast I thought I'll do this song and, well, it wasn't that easy. <laughs> I couldn't remember all the licks and it's quite improvised, but it's almost there. Uh, beginning, obviously, you saw already and then from the solo onwards at the end of this chapter. I thought I'd uh, answer some questions. I had a question again about strings, saying that Oh, do you change string brand every time a sponsor changes? No. Why would I do that? I, you know, when I started out, I worked in this guitar shop called Kitarapaya. They had GHS strings. Before that, I used Dadario, but at uh, Kitarapaya, they tried the GHS strings, and I liked them. They were a little bit cheaper for me, which is a big factor when you are used to boiling your strings to get new ones. Um, I didn't know about the Elixir strings that I use now until about maybe 10 years ago, possibly 10 years ago I started using Elixir strings and uh, yeah, I mean they're, they're the best strings for me. Uh, some people don't like the slinky feel of them or, or the, you know, they don't get dirty, which is why I like them. Uh, others don't, but anyway, I use Elixir because I like the strings, not because I'm sponsored and I'm not sponsored by Elixir. I would like to be because they're not exactly cheap. I do get a good fair deal on them, but uh, they could be cheaper. Um, the same person asked me or commented that uh, when are you going to write a hit song? And or said that uh, you're playing now. The playing is great. Uh, if you could only write a song that is your own, well, all the songs are written on my own. Uh, I think I've had songs that could have been some kind of mainstream radio hits uh, back in the day uh, when Going Home came out it had got a fair amount of radio play um, I think on classic rock radio Faith, Hope and Love was played quite a lot um, My Soul to You I just got the uh, Teosto which is the GEMA or PRS or whatever you call it uh, and surprise, surprise, Switzerland has played a lot of My Soul to You. Great stuff. Uh, a Stranger has quite a lot of airplay. Um, it's not me he decides. I mean, in my opinion, all my songs are hits. It's just that you haven't heard of them, all of them. <clears throat> I can't influence the radios or what they play. I'm a small time player. I, I have a small label who thankfully backs me up. And they try to get my songs on playlists and some of them are on playlists, but they're on smaller blues rock radio station, internet stations. You know, of course I'd love to have a hit. It's a stupid thing to say that you don't want to have a hit, but I don't have one. I'm still waiting that someone would, the big audience would find me. But, you know, I am what I am and I do what I like, which is more than a lot of people can say they do. So, uh, so much about hits. The next hits are coming. Um, Playing-wise, um, I thought I'd talk a little bit about how I use my tremolo arm. Okay, now my philosophy with the tremolo arm in the beginning of the 80s was obviously what I learned from seeing Richie Blackmore abuse his tremolo arm strat. And uh, a lot of players use it only for violent kind of dive bombs and, and machine gun stuff. Whereas, for instance, I really liked the, the Hank Marvin stuff, which was very melodic. And I really heavily got into playing melodic stuff with the tremolo arm around the eight, 
eighty eight yeah nineteen eighty when I, I I got the first or my second issue of, of Guitar Player magazine with Pat Travers and Pat Thrall and I got really into the Pat Thrall's philosophy of trying to play like slide stuff with the tremolo arm. Uh, And uh, I think that if you have a phrase, let's say, and you want to put in the tremolo R in there, it's more expressive, more melodic. First, I, I kind of bend up to the note, and then down. Almost crying, and uh, in lead playing, <laughs> that's that's my the way I like to look at it, more of a, as an expressive tool for melodic stuff than to, to go crazy with it. Uh, I mean, I'm lucky I, I, I found this guitar that has a Floyd Rose and uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to rehearsing some of the, my old songs that I was playing with the Floyd Rose back in the mid 90s. To put them back in the in the live set, and uh, I, I have some friends, guitar player friends, said, "Come on, Ben, you got to play the Floyd Rose again." And I'm like, "Oh, for fuck's sake!" But it will be back. Anyway, uh, some st some stupidly simple things with the tremolo that you can remember is is that you go up to a note. So that's basically like E major. <laughs> That's, that's a little bit like a slidey thing, or if you want to go the opposite way. I have a couple of typical Ben Grafet licks, which, for instance, in Power of Passion at the end of the song, at the end of the song. Typical my style lick in. Uh, Victorious, there's that one. That's also very typical of my way of expressing myself with the tremolo arm. It's basically a lot softer touch than what you would think. And uh, I have my tremolo set up so that if I play a G st string, I bend it up to, to A. <laughs> And uh, the B string goes to C, which means that I can play. And uh, it, it kind of also when I do this, I kind of it stops myself or stops me from playing too fast, which I can't do that anymore. But if I get lost in playing something, I, I take the travel arm and try to do something melodic in the middle of everything. And that seems to work for me. Whatever it works for you is obviously up to you. But I prefer the more gentle kind of travel arm abuse than the really hard stuff. Mainly because the music that I do doesn't require it anymore. Anyway, take some time with the tremolo also. Sometimes, you know, play with your fingers and the tremolo, so I put the pick away. For the 
an instant Jeff Beck vibe. And uh, that's it. Enjoy the end of Checkered Flag with a few mistakes, but who the fuck cares? It's only rock and roll. See you next time, and I promise, I promise my pedal board will be ready, but it's not yet. <laughs>